In this video, we're gonna be talking about what do you do when your church is not growing, coming up. Now, like, guys has to offer. Hey, what's up, my name is Chris Abbott and I've helped thousands of churches attract thousands of new visitors. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the exact process that I use with all of the churches that I work with, including a church that went from 60 to 110 in only three months. Just a few days ago, I had the chance to sit down with a really influential pastor and talk about church growth. And one of the things that he said at the beginning of the conversation kind of blew my mind. So he said that most churches don't grow because the pastors don't actually want them to. Now, what he was saying is it's not that you don't want to disciple more people or that those churches aren't actively trying to grow and trying to bring more people in. But what happens when the pastor's the primary caregiver, right? Like when you're the one who's going to all the hospital visits and you're doing all the house calls and you're doing absolutely everything, then what happens is a principle that I call increase equals pain, right? So you start to associate the idea of increase and more people with more pain because you're so maxed out and you're so busy right now. So it doesn't matter how many people you have in your church, if you're maxed out on time with you know vision casting and recruiting volunteers and working on your messages and trying to work on your church growth then it can be really really hard to imagine what it would be like if your church doubled so one of the most important things to do when you're first starting off is just ask yourself is there any kernel of truth for you do you associate increase with pain and so this is important to just kind of dive in because subconsciously, even if you think, man, more people, twice the amount of people is going to be twice the amount of work and twice the amount of pain, right? Then your subconscious isn't going to let you get out there and actually start to grow. So this is important. This is only something that you can answer, but dive in and ask yourself, man, am I associating increase with pain? How can you raise up some leaders to take some things off your plate? All right, so before we dive into the process that I use to help churches grow all over the country, uh, man, I want to remind you, right? Matthew 7, 7, and 8, for everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to those who knock, the door will be open. So I want to encourage you, if you've been praying for church growth, don't give up, man. Keep going. The Bible says if you continue to ask, seek, and knock, the door will be open to you. Okay, so let's dive into a simple process on how you can use social media to reach more people and attract new visitors. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna use targeted Facebook ads to attract people who live within driving distance of your church. Now, for clarity, this is not a boosted post, right? So if you post something on your Facebook page and then you click boost and it goes out to everybody and then Facebook says, hey, this is performing 90% better than all of your other posts, put $10 behind it to reach more people, okay? That's not a Facebook ad, that's a boosted post. So an easy way, you have to create a Facebook ad inside of the ads manager. So if it's showing up on your Facebook page, it's a boosted post. If it's it's only showing up in the news feeds of the people that you set up through targeting, then it's a Facebook ad. So you want to go into the ads manager, which is really easy to find, facebook.com slash ads manager, and you can actually create a targeted Facebook ad and you can target every single person within driving distance of your church. There's usually three types of campaigns that I recommend churches use for this. The first one is a traffic campaign where you're just going to send people from Facebook to your website to learn more about your church. The second is a little bit more advanced, and this one's called a conversions ad, but this is a great way, especially if you're optimizing to try to get people to sign up for a plan your visit, then you can actually run a conversions ad. Or the third one, which is my personal favorite, is you can actually run a messages ad. Before I get to my last couple of points, I want to encourage you, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifications. We're dropping new videos every single day, five days a week, and that way you get notifications whenever we drop new videos. All right, next up, plan your visit. Now, if you're not familiar with plan your visit, all this is is giving people the opportunity to sign up and schedule a visit to come to your church on Sunday, right? That way, if you know that they're coming ahead of time, you can assign a friendly person to kind of show them around, right? Help them get their kids checked in, save them a seat in service, give them a tour of the property, introduce them to some of the key staff and leaders, right? So we started doing this in 2017 at my church and things absolutely exploded. The very first month that we did this, we increased our first time visitors by 42%, the second month by 60%, the third month by 87% and the fourth month by 113% simply by using targeted Facebook ads and inviting people to plan a visit to church. All right, so one of my favorite ways to do this, if you run a messages ad, you can actually run a Facebook ad that goes into Facebook Messenger, and now you can actually have a ministry conversation back and forth. My favorite way to do this is using automated sequences called chatbots, right? So chatbots is kind of like a choose your own adventure text message that lives inside of Facebook. It's just a series of sequences that depending on how someone answers, kicks off a different sequence. 
So you can do this on whatever it is that you want. You could ask for more information about the church. You could do something centered around prayer or some type of a quiz. I recommend ManyChat. It's a great way to start building chatbots if you've never built one before and it's pretty user friendly. But the best way to do this is you run a Facebook ad that goes into Facebook Messenger and then kicks off an, a series of automated sequences using a chatbot. And then you can jump in and have a one-on-one -on -one personal ministry conversation. My favorite way to do this is I recommend sending an audio prayer to every single person that reaches out. So if you run an ad talking about, hey, how can I pray for you this week, right? And people go into Messenger and they submit their prayer request, then you can send them an audio prayer. And they, that way they hear your voice using their name praying for their situation, right? And what happens is it's something I call conversation elevation, right? Where when they first submit a prayer request and they're first talking to you inside of Messenger, it's just kind of a surface level anonymous conversation, right? You don't know them, they don't know you, but they've submitted a prayer request and now you're having a conversation. But when they get an audio prayer, and again, they hear your voice using their name praying for their situation, what happens is it elevates that conversation to a personal connection. Right? So now at the end of that audio prayer, all you have to do is just invite them to come out to church on Sunday. Right? And now we're tapping into the power of a personal invite. So we use an audio prayer and that conversation elevation technique to take it from an online anonymous conversation to a personal connection. And then we tap into the power of a personal invite by simply you as the pastor inviting them out to church on Sunday. I've helped churches do this all over the country. In fact, we helped a church in a rural area, small town. Right? They're the best kept secret in the city. So the pastor would get frustrated because people would always say, oh man, you know, pastor, we do our... We're we're the best kept secret in town. We have such a great church. And they meant it as a good thing, but he was frustrated because for five years, he was trying to grow and trying to get the word out. And so they were stuck at about 60 people. We helped them set up this simple system, Facebook ads into Messenger using Chatbot, where he could send an audio prayer and things just exploded. In three months, his church grew from 60 to 110 because to all of his congregation's point, they had a great church, they had a great culture, they had great people, they just didn't know how to get new people in the door. So when they started running targeted Facebook ads to everyone who lived within driving distance of the church, their church started to become known around town as the church that prays for people, and people would literally see Pastor Tony and say, hey, man, like that's the Facebook pastor, that's the guy who prays for people, right? What a great way to brand your church as the church that prays for people, and you're the Facebook pastor that prays for people, not a bad deal, and they ended up growing from 60 to 110 in only three months, and again, this isn't marketing, this is ministry, right? All they did was spend time doing one-on-one -on -one personal ministry using social media and technology and their church grew really fast. All right, so if you wanna know more about how to use this system in order to grow your church, or you'd like to have a conversation with us about having us just set this up for you, just go to churchgrowthagency.com, check out the free training video we have there. And if you'd like, we'll hop on a strategy call and talk about how this could work for your church. We'll see you soon.